Well, hey guys, you can see I've got quite a bit of mess in my basement right now. You know, I've been in the middle of a whole bunch of things. Uh, my my previous curved TV died. My 4K TV died. I've had that for years. And uh, so now I, I got a new TV and uh, I'm running my secondary area TV uh, from my sim pit as, a, you know, just a secondary monitor for doing some programming and temporarily. And my radiator from <laughs> my main PC is rattling like hell. So if I stand it upright, it makes a lot of noise. So I got to get that changed out. And you can see I got my mess down here with all my cabling and everything else, you know. So, uh, well, what I'm talking about in this video is uh, I finally got delivery of a couple of things I've been waiting for. And that's a couple of these uh, almost DMB size uh, displays. Uh, they're they're uh, around uh, 12. They're actually 1280 by uh, 390 resolution. So they're a little bit taller than a 4 by one resolution. But a lot of people like to use these for uh, DMB displays. Uh, or topper displays or under displays uh, and uh, they like to use these in the cab so I got a couple of them and uh, so here it is uh, I'm testing one of them right now and uh, I figured I'd just uh, do a couple of displays and uh, go through because uh, I, I noticed uh, some guys uh, seem to have this setup wrong uh, they seem to have theirs uh, how can I say uh, let's see here well, actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that after. I'll, I'll just do some demonstrations first, and then I'll talk about how to set this thing up correctly. So uh, I guess I'll just show you how a few things look on it. Now, I'm leaving the, the, the taskbar up on purpose, just so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like uh, when you have things running. Now, keep in mind, as, so uh, this is uh, the Goonies uh, pup display uh, and pup scoring uh, that Nailbuster made for uh, the VPX version. And uh, as you can see, it, it looks it looks awesome like look at that like it, it just looks really nice now again keep in mind uh my phone is not gonna you know show it as nicely as it normally would look but you can see like you know you're gonna get like really nice uh uh backgrounds and nice uh sort of like overlays and then it's a mix of uh video clips and pop dmd uh scores and you know it looks great like it it's a, a normal dmd size and that's that. That's what it's designed for. So that way, it'll fit on DMD uh, LCD setups for cabs. And yeah, like I mean, and uh, if you play the game, yeah, that's 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 a little bright, isn't it? Let's see here. I don't know if I can change my uh, exposure or not, but geez, that's bright. Here, let's just try that. There you go. And I will tell you that the color does look nice. Uh, you know, like the phone doesn't reflect it very well. I mean, it's kind of impossible to show everything but uh, you know it gives you a good idea of uh how, how it would normally look and how it would fit now i will tell you that these displays are a little bit sensitive on a viewing angle uh you know so uh that's something to keep in mind when you're buying these that's typical for uh display panels from uh from china and they you know they come with uh i know you can't see it very well but they they have a controller board and uh a button board and that's just my oculus controller uh holding up the display here you know but they're pretty rugged though like i mean they're they're not like flimsy or anything like that i was, I was kind of expecting it to be a lot more flimsy but it's pretty rugged uh so yeah so you can see that, that that works good and it looks really nice uh and cool thing about it is uh now because of recent uh developments from uh nail buster and uh Rad arcade uh future pinball can run com objects which that basically means that you can have Full pinup player capability in Future Pinball via table script. That means you don't need DOF links to run pinup player anymore. And uh, it also means that you get full capability. So all this can now be done on Future Pinball, exactly as you see here with the same commands that you would use for Visual Pinball. So, you know, so some really cool stuff coming out uh, for Future Pinball. Lots of potential now. So that, that's one example there. Now I'll show you another example. Uh, this is going to be uh, actually, well, a Future Pinball uh, example of just a normal DMD being displayed uh, through Future DMD being mirrored onto Pup DMD. So you don't see it. Like I'm loading the table right now. Okay. Uh, you don't see it, but I have a small window of Future DMD running somewhere. And this is actually the normal DMD uh, device dot DLL uh, freezy and, and pup DMD uh, control monitoring future DMD and outputting it based on, uh, sorry, ba this is pup DMD control, not freezy, outputting 
based on the settings in uh, dmddevice.ini. So I know it's a, it's a little confusing, but bottom line is uh, Pup DMD control is a uh, nail buster's own uh, uh, DMD uh, sort of uh, mirroring software. And because uh, he uses it with Pinup Popper, and as a result, you can use that to mirror uh, future DMD and Pinball Fax 3. And uh, as you can see here, when it finally pops up, there you go. So there you go. You can see it's working just fine. So anything that you can display on future DMD now can be displayed in nice, you know, nice uh, dots instead of the ugly squares that future DMD normally has. So there you go. That's working nicely. And again, uh, oh, who's that doof? You can see, you know, how much of a difference there is, right? So perfect for DMDs. It gives you a little bit of extra space. But it's also good for uh, poppers. And I'll show that real quick. I'm just going to bring up uh, if I can. Yep. So this is actually, I'm just running the Future Pinball uh, JAWS Pup Pack right now. And let's see if I can send an event there. And there you go. Okay, perfect example. So there you can see, it actually works out almost, uh, almost pixel perfect for the topper videos I have out there right now. Now that said, uh, you know, they'll fit very nicely. They're only, it's only out by a very small amount. But, uh, you know, as you can see, they look fantastic. They work fantastic. It's really nice. Like I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how close that fit. I wasn't expecting it to be like that, that spot on with what I, I guess I'll be honest with you guys. I kind of just guessed as to the size for these things when I originally started making them way back in the day. But as you can see, you know, it works out really nice and it looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, like so for topper videos or under videos that people like to use in their cabinets. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a nice alternative. Uh, again, keep in mind uh, the viewing angles with these guys. You know, you get way up here, it might be hard. You get way below, it might be hard. You know, so you have to have a, an optimal viewing angle with any of these uh, displays that you usually get from China. So, and yeah, so there you go. So that's a, that's a few good examples there of, uh, you know, uh, how this sucker will look. Uh, so what I wanted to show you guys is, uh, how people usually have this set up wrong. And, uh, so I'm going to bring up, uh, the NVIDIA control panel. So this is, uh, the, the, the monitor right here. Uh, the, the actual, uh, little DMD size screen. It's, uh, the AAA one on the top right there. So I've added a custom resolution of 1280 by 390 at 60 hertz. That's not normally how it will show up. How it will show up is... 1280 by 720 native at 68 hertz and i'll show you what that looks like and this is how a lot of guys seem to be running these displays now look at that that's all completely wrong that's it's squished uh it, you know it's basically the controller board on the back there uh thinks that display is a 1280 by 720 but it's not it's actually a 1280 by 390 display so like i said uh, we got to do uh, a couple things to, to make that work. So uh, first thing you would do is uh, now some guys would be like, well, I'll just run it in 1280 by uh, 720 at 60 hertz. Well, guess what? No difference. It's going to be the same thing because it's trying to squish all of that into like a normal full size 16 by 9 screen. So that's not what you want. So what you do is you select your screen, you go to customize. And then now I've already added mine here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to delete it and I'll, I'll add it in again just so you guys can see the process. All right. So normally you would click customize. Nothing would be here. You would choose create custom resolution. And then now you want to make sure it's the right one for your panel. In my case, it's 1280 by 3890. And then you want to make sure that it's 60 hertz, not 68. Very, very, very important. Then you click test. Now, keep in mind, it's looking correctly for me, but at first it did not. And uh, uh, But either way, you would hit yes when it comes up on screen uh, to keep that resolution. And there, there you go. Now we have our uh, custom resolution added, but we're not running in it right now. We hit OK. Because this, this is how it originally looked when I tried bringing it up. Uh, so, or it looked like this, but it was offset. And I'll show you, uh, see if I can recreate what it was doing actually. 
and let's see here. So yeah, by default, it's normally on aspect ratio for you guys. Uh, so if you hit that, all right, now this is how it's normally set up on your displays, right? So if you went to your custom resolution and selected it, 60 hertz, and hit apply, this is how it'll look, right? So you're gonna be like, well, what the, that's no good. Like, you know, that you can't use that, right? Well, that's fine. We, you're in the right resolution. You just have to have the right scaling now. So what you do is you go and you select full screen. You go to desktop size and positions, make sure your monitor is selected and you choose full screen scaling. Now you may have to choose GPU or display depending on uh, what connection you're using. Uh, I'm using HDMI right now. Uh, but I found with, uh, you know, sometimes you might have to choose a uh, GPU. So either way, you hit apply. And then you take a look. And in this case, it's working and looking perfect. Now, if it doesn't, then you just go back and you choose GPU and do the same thing. And there you go. And that's it. Like, that's, that's all. And I'm just going to put it back to display for myself, but... That's all you have to do. And now you're good to go. And then you can just set up your uh, popper displays like normal, you know, configure your display locations for popper. Uh, so in this case, I have the topper showing up there, but I'm also testing with my DMD, you know, just for the sake of, you know, testing down here, you know, but, uh, you know, normally you would not have both on there. If you do not have a dedicated topper space, but, you only have a space for a DMD. You cannot do both on there. So don't even try it. You'll just cause nothing but headaches for yourself. But I just wanted to show the difference between them, uh, how much space you have on one versus the other. And uh, yeah, so I, as you can see, like it works out really nicely. Uh, let me just refresh that a second here. There you go. So there you go. It, it works out really, really well, guys. And, and that's about it. That's all I really wanted to show. Uh, just I know some guys were getting some confusion on how to fix that because uh, they were running. And you can make things still work with a 1280 by 720 with it all squished. But there's no point. You're just wasting pixels and you're getting weird aspect ratios and scaling. Whereas if you do what I showed you, then you're running in the correct panel resolution. And then your videos for uh, your front end will record correctly, will display correctly and uh, your DMDs and every program will display correctly. So that's the right way to do it, guys. So uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you that. So uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll have this sucker. Uh, I'll, I'll show you kind of what I'm, I'm talking about here. So I don't know how I'm gonna use this for sure. As you can see, I got a mess down here, but uh, I was considering possibly putting one of those displays in place of this thing here. You know, to have it kind of like a, like a, you know, kind of like a, either instruction cards uh, display slash under display and uh, maybe have one up here and then not have this big giant thing here. You know, take that out and have uh, either a bigger monitor here or bring this one down and then only have the DMD there and then uh, your under videos there uh, or maybe have a topper up there instead of that down here, you know, so I'm still going to play around with that and figure out what I want to do. I might rebuild this whole back box. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, you know, uh, and I even, you know, you know, I have my addressable LEDs down there, you know, I might even be replacing that because I got some uh, newer ones here. Let me turn that on. Uh, I got the newer style ones uh, that are uh, nice and uniform and they plug into each other so you don't have to create strips. You know, it's actually just three separate ones. I actually uh, have a fourth one coming in so that I can run all the way across because I already have my own back in there and they look nice, uh, but they're not as many rows. I only have uh, six back there, whereas this is uh, actually eight. So it might might look better, it might not, I don't know. So we'll wait and see, you know, uh, yeah, just uh, everything's a mess, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I just had so many projects on the go and just with work, I've been so busy and you know, that's where the, both the displays and their power supplies and uh, the controller board all came in. When you do order these, I will point out that uh, you have to make sure you get the right power supply for them. Uh, I do believe it was a 12 volts uh, with a, at least two amps. I'm pretty sure, but make sure you check the website for 
if you ask uh, the manufacturer if you're not sure. But that's that's what I wound up getting. So someone gave me a link, and uh, that's how I found mine. But and that's it. Okay, so I've blabbed on long enough, guys. So uh, yep, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, see you in another video. Bye.